meeting of the ducks. They're just chilling, taking a break, Megan. A meeting of the ducks. <laughs> oh, they're getting up. They're humans. That's funny. It's crazy. Watch one of them turn around and bite him. <laughs> Oh, There's some over here like, what's he doing? <laughs> He's crazy. <laughs> what's going on, gangsters? Uh, I got a little kind of rant, I think, about doing a video right after I got out of uh, my local comic store. That's what they call it, a comic store, but it's called Lost Legion's Games and Comics. And the problem I have with that is they don't really give a shit about the comics. They got, you know, some, some newer stuff in and their back issues are really... I mean, they don't even put them in sleeps or nothing, so basically they're kind of jacked up most of the time and really stuff that no one ever collects or wants to find or buy or whatever. And every once in a while you'll get a deal. I mean, I did get some Batmans there recently, um, you know, that they brought in and everything. But you got all these, I mean, some people, I guess, would call people that collect comic books. They're nerds in a certain way and whatever. But these damn guys that play these games, that sits in there, got their computers opened up, and they're <laughs> they're so into it, and they got all, and then they got these little miniature things and the stuff they play. I mean, I guess everybody's got their own thing, but shit, I don't sit inside the comic book store going through all my damn comics when I buy them, and have my laptop opened up, and have a box of Pizza Hut pizza sitting beside me and drinks and like a damn six pack of coke and stuff these guys stay almost all damn day they live there and i got to thinking when i walked in there i almost went up to one and said hey buddy have you ever thought about trying to get laid you know i was just wondering because i don't understand some of these fuckers i mean it's comical i mean it's just like god they live there and like I said, the, we need a comic shop here in Princeton Bluefield area. A real comic shop. You know, I've been to a few of the real comic shops. And, you know, one in Bristol, Tennessee. I think it was called Mountain Empire. That was a pretty decent place. There wasn't no gaming shit going on there. And uh, Comic Kings in Virginia Beach, Virginia was an awesome shop that I went to. But, you know, you don't get to see a whole lot of them anymore. And if you do, they got these damn gamers. I don't really know what the hell they're playing or doing. I mean, I guess it's almost like the magic card stuff that they used to have, too. I mean, there was people who used to do that and stuff. But I'm not really, not really feeling it. And I, like I said, I almost just wanted to ask one of them guys in there, do you ever want to try to get late? You know, you know. I don't know. It just, it just bothers me, and they just don't seem to care. I was in there for 20 minutes, and no one ever asked me for help. The guy that runs the store, because guess what? He's sitting beside, uh, he's sitting behind a laptop too, and got a hard on for some kind of damn game shit going on. And this other nerd in there is talking crap and like, oh, you you just do this and you do that. Ha, 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 give me a slice of pizza, motherfucker. You know, it's just stupid, man. I'm like, get a damn life, dude. I mean, shit, I collect comics. I buy movies and watch movies and do other stuff that a lot of people would call nerd. But, my God, ain't that damn bad. I mean, shit, I have been laid. I got, I got kids to prove it and stuff. I mean, I don't think I'm that damn bad looking. But still, yet yeah, it was just like, God. And, and, you know, until I actually asked for help, then the guy stood up and decided he wants to help me. So, 
I don't know. I guess you could get a few new issues there once in a while, but it's pretty damn bad when you go in there and they don't even have the new Amazing Spider-Man comic. They didn't have none of them in there, you know. And and then some things they've got are four or five months old and they still want cover price for them when they should drop them down to a dollar because they're not selling. But I really don't think they give a shit if they sell or not. So that's just my rant on the local comic shop. If any of these guys happen to watch this, maybe I'll be banned from the store, but I really don't know if I'm going to go back. I'd rather just order off a damn line. It's just like video stores. Video stores, they, there's no more of them hardly. You hardly ever see any. If you do, you see a Blockbuster or something. It's just... They're, they're gone, you know, and, and so are the damn comic shops. They're starting to, to vanish away, and now there's people that's buying comics online. It's like digital or something. You keep them and you save them, and you, it's like, like you download music and stuff, you know, so now they're doing that. I think that's crazy if you're a comic book collector and you like to actually hold the book in your hand and read it, but that's another rant right there. Until next time, gangsters, this is Movie John 75 signing out.